Colin Dorsey, thanks for joining us here at 5 o'clock. Our top story this evening, day 26 of the strike against John Deere. And the company says its recently rejected contract offer remains on the table. Ron Steele is standing by live now with some late details. Yeah, Colin, thank you very much. You know, I had not heard anything directly from UAW, but the company told me today that the conversations, conversations continue, but apparently no official negotiations. But yes, as you mentioned, John Deere told us today that contract offer, which the company earlier had called its best and final offer, does remain on the table, is still quite valid if the union would decide to call for another vote. Now remember, it only failed by about 500 votes in the latest ratification rejection. So Waterloo and Dubuque are certainly keys to any future approval. The company calls it, though, a groundbreaking offer, the best in the business, the best in the industry, significant wage increases, cost of living adjustments, and retirement enhancement. It's a pension and a 401k. So our pension program um, has improvements from where it's been in the past. In fact, 30% increase um, on the pension side for what they would get as a part of their normal pension and the benefit of tax deferred saving by and, and the company would match 60 cents on the dollar up to 6% of their wages. So that's a second aspect. Knowing the industry has both of those. That is Corey Reed, president of John Deere Worldwide Agriculture Production. He spent 15 years working for Deere here in Waterloo as strikers remain on the picket lines today. Now, Reed told me that he wants to make sure that all strikers know exactly what's in this contract offer they rejected, which includes about a 30% wage increase over the six years, or about, as the company says, $82,000 in new money for the average worker out of that proposal. The proposal also includes a ratification bonus of $8,500. Great wages, great overall benefits includes things like health care, that's zero out-of-pocket, zero deductible, zero co-insurance or co-pays throughout the life of the deal. So we're on it.